scene one, Apple take two. The simple central story idea of the film, this alien becomes sort of infected with the sense of identity. I wanted that character to be in disguise. I liked the idea of taking somebody who was well known and putting them in disguise. And that had to be, how do we shoot that? How do we, let's do that with hidden cameras. Let's do that so we can really film her walking down a street and nobody knows it's her. For me, it was absolutely thrilling. When we first started doing that kind of covert stuff, you've, you know, you become incredibly self-conscious. All those things are just kind of life happening around this character. Scarlett's character was interacting with real people who were completely unaware they, that they were in a fictional film. We were shooting half an hour unbroken takes of improvised dialogue with eight cameras simultaneously, which is like a feature's worth of photography. We had to build a whole ecosystem that's basically all the components of a camera that could either be stuck together or separated and used in a number of different modular ways. When you've got nobody shouting action, cut, reset, you know, none of those normal constraints exist. The set is there, you're in it, but the rest of it all comes from the outside and reality. This is one of the one cam sensor units. This has got a large cinema style lens mount on it. It had to be able to work in all these different scenarios, whether it's uh, in a vehicle, or on a motorbike. In the uh, nightclub and in the shopping center, we were filming the people and her with these uh, hidden cameras. Our character was dropped into the real world and we were, at that point, documenting what happened. The whole idea of putting Scala in disguise as a Trojan horse, you know, putting her in there undetected. You're taking the film to people, you know, you're rather than bringing people to the film, you're taking it to people. It's quite intoxicating. You could easily get lost shooting like that. Jonathan was able to kind of capture life on film in a way that I don't think anybody's ever really seen before. That striving for uh, authenticity and reality, that was his sort of barometer for it. You start with a feeling, and then, and then you go images out to try and describe that feeling, and then you try and turn those images into a story. What it gets you, again, is something that you have almost never seen in cinema. Hi, it's Lisa with a quick Hollywood update. Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan return for Karate Kid 2. The Crazies director, Breck Eisner, is behind the sequel to the 2010 reboot, which grossed over 340 million worldwide. Hmm, not bad. Next up, Ray Winstone takes over Gary Busey's role in the Point Break remake. The actor will portray Johnny Utah's veteran FBI partner in this remake of the 1991 action classic. That's it for today. Subscribe to keep up to date on all the latest trailers. Bye-bye.